We start our journey in the heart of the Himalayas, uncovering the deadly secrets that lie beneath the Earth's surface. We'll delve into the science of earthquakes, exploring the forces that have shaped our planet and shaken its very foundations. Can we predict these disasters? What secrets do they hold about the Earth's inner workings? Next, we blast off into the stratosphere, exploring the mysterious realm of the ionosphere, the key to understanding storms that rage beyond our atmosphere. Can you imagine controlling the weather? We'll uncover the science behind this cosmic phenomenon and explore its potential impact on our planet. After that, brace yourselves as we dive into the complex and controversial science of war. Is this human conflict an inevitable part of our nature, or can we find a way to achieve lasting peace? We'll explore the biological and psychological factors that drive human aggression and examine the potential solutions offered by science. Next, get ready to be mesmerized as we venture into the celestial realm, unraveling the mysteries of Saturn's captivating rings. These majestic structures are slowly disappearing, but why? We'll embark on a cosmic voyage of discovery, exploring the secrets hidden within the rings of this gas giant. Prepare to be awestruck by the raw power and grace of martial arts. We'll embark on an epic journey through the history and science of this ancient practice, exploring the physical and mental disciplines that transform warriors into masters of their craft. Get ready to be surprised as we delve into the fascinating world of fungi. These enigmatic organisms play a crucial role in our planet's health, yet they remain shrouded in mystery. We'll explore the science behind mushrooms, their impact on our ecosystems, and their potential to unlock a new era of innovation. Join us as we celebrate the human spirit of endurance and perseverance. We'll journey alongside marathon runners, exploring the incredible science behind their physical and mental capabilities. Discover the secrets to pushing your limits and achieving seemingly impossible feats. Finally, we embark on a mind-bending exploration of the ultimate scientific fantasy, time travel. Can we rewrite history? Is it possible to predict the future? We'll delve into the paradoxes and possibilities of this thrilling concept, leaving you with questions that will linger long after the video ends. So, are you ready to embark on this mind-blowing adventure? Buckle up sippers and prepare to have your world expanded. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Now let's binge! Is Nepal really earthquake prone? This question stirs the minds of many. Nestled in the heart of the Himalayas, Nepal's breathtaking beauty hides a deadly secret. Its location on the boundary of two major tectonic plates, the Indian and the Eurasian, results in immense geological stress, making the land a hotbed for seismic activity. The terrain, riddled with active fault lines and challenging topography, further amplifies the risk. As we dig deeper, we uncover the truth behind Nepal's deadly secret. Nepal sits at the intersection of two major tectonic plates, resulting in frequent seismic events. This is where the story of Nepal's seismic activity begins. The Indian plate, moving northwards at about two inches per year, collides with the stationary Eurasian plate. This slow but relentless clash generates immense pressure and stress beneath the Earth's surface which is occasionally released in the form of earthquakes. Now, imagine numerous lines crisscrossing beneath the land. These are active fault lines. They are zones where the Indian and Eurasian plates interact, where stress accumulates over time. Picture these fault lines as giant, tension-filled springs. When the pressure becomes too much, they spring back into shape, releasing stored energy in the process. This is an earthquake. The numerous active faults beneath Nepal are like potential time bombs, each capable of causing significant seismic events. These geological factors, the tectonic plate collision and the abundant active fault lines, make Nepal a ticking time bomb for earthquakes. The unique geography of Nepal intensifies the earthquake risk. The country is adorned with mountainous terrains, including the majestic Himalayan range, that pose a formidable challenge. Loose soil and unstable slopes, characteristics of such terrain, can dramatically amplify the effects of seismic waves. This amplification, in turn, can trigger catastrophic events such as landslides, rockfalls and avalanches, further escalating the impact of an earthquake. Thus, the very beauty of Nepal's landscape also contributes to its seismic vulnerability. 
The poor quality of many buildings and infrastructure exacerbates Nepal's vulnerability to earthquakes. A common reliance on traditional construction methods and substandard materials leaves much to be desired in terms of earthquake resilience. The lack of earthquake-resistant design and reinforcement in many structures is a glaring issue. Often built without due consideration for the seismic activity in the region, these buildings are ill-prepared for the violent tremors. When earthquakes strike, these structures become death traps for the inhabitants. Despite the challenges, there are ongoing efforts to mitigate earthquake risks in Nepal. Experts are introducing earthquake-resistant building techniques, creating structures designed to withstand seismic stress. Early warning systems are also being developed, aiming to provide precious seconds of alert before an earthquake strikes. These initiatives, driven by the commitment and ingenuity of those who understand the land's unique challenges, are the vanguard in the fight against seismic disasters. Understanding and addressing Nepal's earthquake-prone nature is crucial for the safety and well-being of its people. If you're as captivated by this discovery as we are, and you want to dive deeper into the fascinating world of science, then we have a simple call to action for you. Hit that like button and subscribe to our channel, SciTips. We're constantly exploring and breaking down complex scientific phenomena into digestible content. Have you ever pondered how invisible tempests raging miles above our heads could affect our daily lives? Welcome to the enigmatic world of geomagnetic storms. These invisible yet powerful phenomena have the potential to disrupt power grids, impair radio signals and cause havoc with GPS systems. They are silent, unseen, yet hold the power to change our daily lives dramatically. A recent study led by the brilliant minds at Nagoya University and the University of New Hampshire has shed new light on these storms. The researchers delved into the Earth's upper atmosphere, a realm often overlooked, revealing its critical role in the development of these storms. The focus of this investigation was the magnetotail, a part of Earth's magnetosphere. In a surprising twist, the researchers discovered that during a significant geomagnetic storm, the plasma in the magnetosphere was primarily sourced from Earth's ionosphere, not the solar wind as previously thought. This revelation underscores the Earth's ionospheric plasma's role in driving these storms. Just as we thought we had the mysteries of these storms figured out, a new discovery turns our understanding on its head. And so, we continue our journey, venturing further into the storm, eager to unravel the mysteries that lie within. Imagine a world where our own atmosphere plays a pivotal role in shaping the very storms that threaten our technology. In the grand cosmic drama unfolding above us, our humble Earth has a more significant role than we ever imagined. A recent study led by a team of astute researchers has unveiled a surprising truth. Our Earth's upper atmosphere, the ionosphere to be precise, is a major influencer in the creation of geomagnetic storms. These storms, as you might know, can wreak havoc on our modern technology, disrupting power grids, radio signals and GPS. But where does the raw material for these storms come from? The answer, until recently, was thought to be the solar wind, the stream of charged particles emanating from the sun. However, this new study presents a different narrative. The researchers meticulously analyzed data from a large geomagnetic storm that occurred in September 2017. The protagonist of this story turned out to be the magnetotail, a part of the Earth's magnetosphere. The plot twist? They found that the plasma in the magnetosphere, the very lifeblood of the storm, was mostly sourced from the Earth's ionosphere, not the solar wind. This discovery has a profound implication. It shifts our understanding of geomagnetic storms and their development. It paints a picture of the Earth not merely as a passive spectator in the cosmic play, but as an active participant contributing its own elements to the stormy drama. Just think about it for a moment. The very air that we breathe, the sky that we look up to, is involved in a celestial tug of war shaping the storms that dance above our heads. It's a testament to the interconnectedness of our universe, where every player, no matter how small, has a part to play. Our very own atmosphere, it seems, is a major player in the theatre of these celestial storms. So why should we care about these invisible storms and our atmosphere's role in them? Well, think of this. 
Our world is increasingly dependent on technology, from satellite communications to power grids. These technological marvels, while robust, are not impervious to the effects of geomagnetic storms. With a deeper understanding of the Earth's upper atmosphere and its role in these storms, we can better predict and prepare for potential disruptions. This knowledge is not just crucial for our day-to-day -day lives, but also for the brave souls venturing into space. As we continue to explore the cosmos, these invisible storms remind us that sometimes the answers to our questions lie closer to home than we might think. If you're as captivated by this discovery as we are, and you want to dive deeper into the fascinating world of science, then we have a simple call to action for you. Hit that like button and subscribe to our channel, SciSips. We're constantly exploring and breaking down complex scientific phenomena into digestible content. Is war inevitable? This question has been a subject of debate for centuries. From the fiery arguments in ancient Greek forums to the scholarly discussions in modern think tanks, the inevitability of war has been a puzzle that humanity has sought to solve. Are we as a species destined to engage in conflict, or is there a chance for a more peaceful coexistence? In our brief exploration, we'll be peering through the lens of different fields of study. We'll probe the depths of human nature, asking if our biology predisposes us to battle. We'll peek into the realm of psychology to understand how our thoughts and emotions can lead us to conflict. Sociology, economics and politics will not escape our scrutiny as we investigate how these social structures and systems can breed conflict. Join us as we explore the science behind conflict. Conflict, as a concept, is as old as humanity itself. It emerges from our human nature, driven by a complex interplay of biological impulses. Our thoughts, emotions and feelings, the very essence of our psychology, play significant roles in conflict, often pushing us towards confrontation. Yet, conflict is not solely a product of our individual psyches. It is shaped by social factors like poverty, inequality and discrimination. These societal pressures can inflame tensions, creating a fertile ground for conflict to grow. Similarly, Economic factors such as resource competition and trade disputes can fan the flames of conflict. Political factors like nationalism, imperialism and power struggles also play a crucial role in conflict, often serving as the spark that ignites the inferno of war. Geography and demographics too can influence conflict. Countries with high population densities, limited resources or young and rapidly growing populations may face a higher likelihood of conflict. These are some of the factors that can lead to war. But does this make war inevitable? This question has challenged thinkers across the ages. The answer, however, is not as clear-cut as one might believe. History is replete with examples of nations that have sidestepped conflict through diplomacy, negotiation and proactive measures. Take the Cuban Missile Crisis, for instance. The world stood on the brink of a nuclear war, but through strategic diplomacy, a catastrophic conflict was averted. Experts from various fields, including political scientists, sociologists and psychologists, concur that the trajectory of conflict is not set in stone. We are not puppets to an inevitable war. Rather, we hold the strings to shape our destiny. Proactive measures like fostering economic cooperation, promoting social equality and initiating dialogues can help prevent conflicts. While conflict may seem inevitable, it is not a foregone conclusion. As we continue to learn and evolve, we can strive for a more peaceful world. The cosmos, a boundless expanse, a swirling dance of stars, galaxies and celestial bodies. It is a testament to the grandeur of existence itself, a realm so vast it eludes the grasp of human comprehension, a spectacle of mystery and majesty that never ceases to captivate. Amidst this cosmic tapestry exists a unique ensemble of planets, each with their own intriguing tales. One such celestial body, the sixth from the Sun, is the gas giant Saturn, known for its distinct feature, a dazzling array of rings. 
Saturn continues to enchant observers and scientists alike. In this celestial ballet, one performer stands out with its majestic rings, the planet Saturn. Saturn, the sixth planet from the Sun and the second largest in our solar system, is a gas giant primarily composed of hydrogen and helium. This celestial body isn't just known for its colossal size, but also for its most distinguishing feature, the rings. These rings are a spectacle to behold, composed of countless small particles, most of which are ice. They're like a grand cosmic ballet, with each particle dancing in independent orbits around Saturn. Yet these rings are not a solitary act. Saturn is accompanied by a retinue of at least 145 moons, each playing its part in the cosmic dance. One moon in particular, Titan, is noted for its substantial atmosphere. These moons cast a significant influence on the rings, giving them their unique structure and appearance. Despite their width, these rings are incredibly thin, almost like a cosmic razor's edge, and even though they appear solid from afar, they consist of particles in independent orbits around Saturn. This delicate balance of ice and space dust is a testament to the complexities and wonders of our universe. In a surprising turn of celestial events, Saturn's rings, a symbol of its identity, are gradually disintegrating. This iconic symbol of the cosmos, first observed by Galileo Galilei in the early 17th century, is forecasted to undergo an extraordinary transformation. Come 2025, these magnificent rings will align edge-on with our home planet, becoming virtually invisible to the naked eye. A celestial spectacle indeed, but fret not, for this is but a temporary phenomenon in the grand scheme of cosmic time. As Saturn continues its celestial dance around the Sun, it will tilt again. And in the year 2032, the rings we've come to admire will re-emerge, revealing themselves once again in their full icy splendor. This upcoming vanishing act serves as a stark reminder of the ever-evolving nature of our universe. As we anticipate this cosmic vanishing act, we are reminded of the ever-evolving nature of our universe. As we marvel at Saturn's rings, set to disappear and reappear in a cosmic dance of celestial mechanics, we are reminded of our place in the universe. Our existence in the face of the cosmos's grandeur can seem insignificant. We are but momentary occupants of a tiny blue dot, lost amongst the astronomical spectacle of galaxies, stars and celestial bodies like Saturn. Yet it is our curiosity, our desire to understand and explore these celestial wonders that make us significant. In the grand scheme of the cosmos, we are but a fleeting moment, a transient speck on the cosmic canvas, dwarfed by the majesty of planets like Saturn and the incomprehensible vastness of the Milky Way. If you're as captivated by this discovery as we are, and you want to dive deeper into the fascinating world of science, then we have a simple call to action for you. Hit that like button and subscribe to our channel, SciSips. We're constantly exploring and breaking down complex scientific phenomena into digestible content. Are you a martial arts enthusiast? Do you sometimes ponder upon the essential role martial arts play in our lives? These dynamic disciplines, rich in history and steeped in culture, serve as more than mere combat techniques. They are the embodiment of mental fortitude, physical prowess, and spiritual equilibrium. From the lethal precision of Kung Fu to the tranquil motions of Tai Chi, there are over 180 different types of martial arts, globally encompassing a spectrum of practices that have shaped societies and individuals alike. Let's delve into the world of martial arts and explore its many facets. Martial arts, a term encompassing a variety of combat practices, have long been an integral part of human culture. Let's embark on a journey to explore the seven most popular martial arts in the world. We begin with karate, an art originating from the Ryukyu Kingdom, now modern-day Okinawa, Japan. Imbued with the spirit of discipline and self-improvement, karate focuses on striking techniques, such as punching, knee strikes, and kicking. Next, we delve into the realms of jujitsu, an art born in feudal Japan. Jiu-Jitsu, often termed the gentle art, emphasizes techniques of grappling and submission holds, providing practitioners with a deep sense of control and finesse. Our journey then takes us to the vibrant nation of South Korea, the birthplace of Taekwondo. This martial art, known for its high-flying kicks and fast footwork, 
is a testament to agility and precision. Moving on, we find ourselves in the mystical lands of China, exploring the ancient art of Kung Fu. With a history steeped in tradition, Kung Fu encompasses a wide range of fighting styles, each with its unique set of movements and philosophies. From the Far East, we travel to the heart of Thailand, where we encounter the fierce and formidable Muay Thai. Known as the Art of Eight Limbs, Muay Thai utilizes fists, elbows, knees, and shins, making it a highly effective and respected combat sport. Then we turn our attention to the universal and time-tested sport of boxing. Originating in ancient Greece, boxing has evolved through ages, emphasizing footwork, speed, and strategy, along with powerful punches. Finally, we arrive at the serene and graceful Tai Chi. Originating from China, it's an art that promotes harmony of mind, body, and spirit. Often practiced by older adults, Tai Chi involves slow, controlled movements, making it a gentle yet effective exercise for all ages. These martial arts, each with its unique style and philosophy, have shaped the physical and mental realms of their practitioners. They are not merely fighting techniques, but a testament to human resilience, discipline, and the continual quest for self-improvement. The influence of martial arts is not confined to dojos or fighting rings. It permeates our pop culture. From the silver screen to the printed page, the legacy of martial arts is omnipresent, shaping our perception of action, drama, and even humor. The film industry has been a particularly fertile ground for martial arts. Consider the cinematic exploits of Bruce Lee, whose lightning-fast moves and philosophical outlook brought martial arts to the global stage. Or Jackie Chan, whose blend of slapstick comedy and intricate fight choreography has made him a beloved figure across the globe. These icons have not only showcased the physical prowess that martial arts can bestow, but also the discipline, focus, and peace of mind that are at the core of these practices. In literature, martial arts have found a place in genres ranging from fantasy to mystery, often serving as a symbol of personal growth and transformation. Characters hone their martial skills not just to win fights, but to overcome their inner demons and reach their full potential. Video games, too, have drawn heavily from martial arts. Whether it's the strategic combat of Street Fighter, the acrobatic maneuvers of Prince of Persia, or the immersive swordplay of Ghost of Tsushima, these games allow players to experience the thrill and challenge of martial arts firsthand. Martial arts have indeed left an indelible imprint on our entertainment and cultural landscape. Their influence extends far beyond the confines of the dojo, shaping our stories, our games, and our collective imagination. Martial arts, despite their combative nature, offer a peaceful sanctuary for anyone willing to embrace them. The beauty of these ancient practices lies not just in their physicality, but in the sublime harmony they foster between mind, body, and spirit. It's a holistic approach to well-being that transcends the mere concept of self-defense, opening up a world of discipline, resilience, and tranquility. Let's consider the discipline aspect first. Each martial art, be it karate, judo, or jiu-jitsu, requires a level of dedication and commitment that transforms not just the body, but the mind. This discipline, once honed, permeates all aspects of life, fostering a sense of responsibility, focus, and self-control that is invaluable. Moving on, we find that martial arts can be a balm for the mind, a peaceful retreat from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. The practice of these arts often involves mindfulness and meditation. It's about being present in the moment, about understanding and respecting the journey rather than obsessing over the destination. This characteristic of martial arts brings a sense of peace and calm that is truly therapeutic. And of course, we cannot forget the fitness aspect. Martial arts provide a full body workout, improving cardiovascular health, flexibility, strength, and balance. They are a fantastic way to stay fit and active, regardless of age. Speaking of age, it's important to mention Tai Chi here. This ancient Chinese martial art is often described as meditation in motion. Its gentle, flowing movements make it an ideal choice for older practitioners. Tai Chi not only improves physical health, but also promotes mental clarity and emotional balance. So, whether you're 16 or 60, there's a martial art out there for you. It's about finding the style that resonates with you, the one that challenges you and yet brings you peace. It's about embarking on a journey of self-discovery and growth. Through martial arts, we can truly discover the harmony between mind, body, and spirit. As we advance into the digital age, the future of martial arts appears to be evolving. 
This evolution brings with it a new set of opportunities and challenges that we must navigate. The rise of the metaverse, a virtual reality space where users can interact with a computer-generated environment and other users, is shaping the landscape of martial arts. With the advent of virtual reality and augmented reality technologies, we can now practice martial arts in the comfort of our living rooms. We can spar with opponents from across the globe, learn from masters who live thousands of miles away, and immerse ourselves in training environments that were previously inaccessible. This digital revolution is not without its challenges. The tactile experience, the feeling of your fists hitting a punching bag, the grip of your opponent in a judo match, the balance and control required in Tai Chi, all these are experiences that cannot be fully replicated in a digital environment. Moreover, the discipline, respect, and camaraderie that are integral to the martial arts experience are more difficult to foster online. The sense of community that comes from training together, sweating together, and growing together is not easily translated into the digital realm. Yet, despite these challenges, the digital age also presents opportunities for the evolution of martial arts. The metaverse allows for greater accessibility, breaking down geographical barriers and making martial arts accessible to anyone with an internet connection. It allows for innovation, with new forms of martial arts emerging that combine traditional techniques with digital technology. The future of martial arts in the digital age is a balance between preserving the traditional aspects of these arts and embracing the opportunities that technology provides. The challenge lies in integrating the physical with the digital, the traditional with the modern, the community with the individual. As we move forward, it is our responsibility to ensure that the heart of martial arts, discipline, respect, and community is not lost in the digital shuffle. As we become more sedentary and technology-driven, the practice of martial arts faces an uncertain future. In a world where convenience often outweighs tradition, the time-honored practice of martial arts may seem less appealing to the masses. The allure of digital realms, where physical prowess is rendered obsolete, is an omnipresent threat to the survival of these ancient disciplines. Our society is shifting, gravitating towards a lifestyle that promotes less physical exertion. The rise of virtual realities while providing unique opportunities also poses a challenge to the survival of our corporeal arts. This shift towards a technologically saturated existence could lead to the decline of martial arts, a reality that is as saddening as it is alarming. We stand at a crossroads, with the potential to lose a rich cultural heritage that has shaped our world for centuries. These arts, once the pride of nations, are at risk of fading into obscurity, much like ancient languages that are now only whispers on the wind. Martial arts are more than just a form of self-defense. They embody a philosophy, a way of life that champions discipline, respect, and perseverance. They are a testament to human resilience and the pursuit of personal betterment. Will martial arts, like some languages and cultures, be relegated to the annals of history? As we conclude our journey through the world of martial arts, we're reminded of their rich history, their significant cultural impact, and the personal benefits they offer. Yet the future of these ancient arts hangs in the balance as modern lifestyles shift. The importance of preserving and practicing these disciplines cannot be overstated. If they are lost, it's not just a sport, but a piece of humanity that fades away. If you enjoyed this exploration of martial arts, please like this video and subscribe to the SciSips channel for more enlightening content. The Earth before fungi was a very different place. Without fungi to break down dead organic matter, the planet would have been covered in a thick layer of decaying plant and animal matter. This would have made it difficult for new life to emerge, and the Earth would have been a much less hospitable place. Fungi also play an important role in nutrient cycling. They help to break down complex organic molecules into simpler ones that can be used by plants. Without fungi, plants would not have been able to get the nutrients they need to grow and the food chain would have collapsed. Fungi are important for the formation of soil. They help to bind soil particles together, which prevents erosion. Without fungi, soil would be much more fragile and it would be easily washed away by rain and wind. The earth before fungi was a world of decaying organic matter with few plants and animals. It was a world that was on the brink of collapse. But with the emergence of fungi, the earth was able to transform into the lush and vibrant planet that we know today. An organism neither plant nor animal 
a kingdom all its own. This was the birth of fungi, the silent revolutionaries of our world. The emergence of fungi was a critical event in the history of life on Earth. It allowed the planet to become more habitable for plants and animals, and it set the stage for the evolution of complex life forms. From the primordial soup, mushrooms sprouted, their spores painting the Earth in a new hue of life. In the grand tapestry of evolution, mushrooms emerged as a remarkable chapter, a turning point in the story of life on Earth. Picture this, a world barren of lush green forests, a world devoid of the rich aroma of decaying leaves. That was our Earth before the advent of fungi. Mushrooms, the fruiting bodies of fungi, emerged nearly a billion years ago, reshaping the planet's topography and fostering biodiversity. They were the first great recyclers, the custodians of nature. By breaking down dead organic matter, they released precious nutrients back into the soil, paving the way for the first green tendrils of plant life to claim the earth. But their role wasn't confined to the natural world. As early humans roamed the earth, they discovered these strange umbrella-like organisms sprouting from the forest floor. Perhaps driven by curiosity or hunger, they dared to taste these odd entities. What followed was a revelation. These early mushrooms not only nourished their bodies, but also in some cases altered their minds, opening the doors to new realms of consciousness. In the early societies of hunter-gatherers, mushrooms were more than a food source. They were revered as sacred entities, believed to hold the key to divine knowledge. Cave paintings dating back tens of thousands of years depict mushrooms in a spiritual context, hinting at their use in early religious rituals and shamanic practices. From the misty mountains of Asia to the dense forests of the Americas, mushrooms wove a thread of silent yet profound influence. They were the quiet revolutionaries, shaping the world and our place in it in ways we're only beginning to understand. Over the course of history, mushrooms have transformed from mysterious forest dwellers to symbols of enlightenment and spiritual awakening, their profound impact reaching far beyond their humble origins. From a primitive food source to a symbol of enlightenment, mushrooms began to weave their magic into the fabric of human history. In our modern world, mushrooms have taken on new roles, far beyond their humble beginnings. They've transitioned from the primitive forest floors to our dinner tables, becoming culinary stars in their own right. From the earthy truffles, a gourmet's delight, to the versatile button mushrooms, their flavors have enriched our palates, but it's not all about the taste. Mushrooms are also making waves in the field of medicine. The beta-glucans in shiitake mushrooms, for instance, are known to boost our immune system, while reishi mushrooms have been celebrated for their potential in cancer treatment. And let's not forget the psychedelic realm, where certain types of mushrooms, like the psilocybe cubensis, are used to explore the depths of the human psyche. Their active compound, psilocybin, is being studied for its potential to treat conditions like depression and anxiety. Whether in a gourmet dish, a medical breakthrough, or a journey of self-discovery, mushrooms have proven their irreplaceable value. The world of mushrooms is as diverse as it is fascinating, teeming with countless species, each with its unique story. Picture the enchanting fly agaric, with its iconic red cap, dotted with white. This mushroom, a mainstay of fairy tale illustrations, possesses potent psychoactive compounds, a testament to nature's ingenuity. Then there's the humble button mushroom, a culinary staple, its subtle flavor enhancing dishes worldwide. Consider the awe-inspiring giant puffball, a mushroom so voluminous it's often mistaken for a misplaced soccer ball. Its spores, when released, can number upwards of seven trillion, demonstrating nature's grand scale. Let's not forget the revered reishi, a mushroom steeped in ancient medicinal lore, its therapeutic properties still harnessed today. And finally, the elusive morel, a sought-after delicacy, its honeycomb cap and earthy flavor a gastronomic delight. From the smallest spore to the largest cap, the world of mushrooms is a testament to the extraordinary diversity and adaptability of life on Earth. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to SciSips for more insights into the world of science and technology. Until next time... Have you ever wondered how marathon runners can go the distance? Ah, the marathon, the ultimate test of human endurance. 
Tracing its roots back to the ancient city of Marathon in Greece, the marathon as we know it today is a grueling 26.2 mile journey. It's a battle not just of physical prowess, but also of mental fortitude. Running a marathon is no walk in the park. It's a feat that requires a certain degree of obsession, resilience, and a dash of madness. The human body is pushed to its limits, muscles burn, hearts pound, and yet the relentless marathoner perseveres. But it's not just the body that's tested. The mind too is put through its paces. The mental challenge of keeping going when every fiber of your being is screaming to stop is perhaps the toughest part of the whole endeavor. So, what's the secret behind these long distance titans? To appreciate the marathon, we must first delve into the evolutionary adaptations that make humans uniquely suited for endurance running. Our physiological traits developed over time enable us to endure the demands of long distance running. One such adaptation is our efficient cooling system. Unlike other animals that rely on panting to cool down, humans can sweat, allowing us to regulate body temperature and continue running in the heat. Our long legs, coupled with short toes, provide us with great leverage and balance, enabling us to maintain a steady and efficient stride over extended distances. At the heart of our endurance, however, lies our muscular system. Humans have a large proportion of slow-twitch muscle fibers, which are fatigue-resistant and specialized for long-duration activity. These muscles are the engine that drives the feat of endurance. As we jog, our slow-twitch fibers begin to break down glucose, providing the energy needed to propel us forward. However, they also produce lactic acid, a byproduct that can cause fatigue and discomfort. The body's ability to clear this lactic acid and buffer its effects is key to maintaining performance during a marathon. Endurance isn't just about the physical traits, it's also about our body's ability to adapt to increased physical stress. Over time, with regular training, the body becomes more efficient at delivering oxygen, clearing lactic acid, and producing energy. This adaptation is what allows humans to keep going, mile after mile, pushing past their limits. So, you see, running a marathon isn't just a physical challenge, it's a celebration of our evolutionary progress a testament to the unique physiological adaptations that make us human. The human body is indeed a marvel, but what fuels this incredible machine during a marathon? Every machine requires fuel, and the human body is no exception. Marathon running is one such task, a grueling test of endurance that pushes the body to its very limits. And when it comes to such a task, the type of fuel matters greatly. Consider the importance of nutrition in marathon running. Nutrition is not just about the food we eat, it's about the fuel we provide our bodies. The body's preferred source of fuel for endurance activities is carbohydrates. These are converted into glucose, which is then stored in the muscles and liver as glycogen. During a marathon, these glycogen stores are depleted, leading to fatigue. This is where the importance of a carbohydrate-rich diet comes into play, providing the body with the necessary fuel to sustain the rigorous activity. But remember, Carbohydrates aren't the only game in town. Fats also play a key role. When glycogen stores are low, the body begins to burn fat to keep going. This is a slower process, and it's why marathon runners often hit the wall around the 20 mile mark when glycogen stores are depleted. A diet rich in healthy fats can help delay this point, allowing runners to maintain their pace for longer. Hydration too is a critical part of the equation. Water isn't just about quenching thirst, it's essential for maintaining blood volume, regulating body temperature, and preventing muscle cramps. Dehydration can lead to a drop in performance and, in severe cases, can be life-threatening. So as you can see, fueling the body isn't just about eating and drinking. It's about choosing the right nutrients and maintaining a balance that allows the body to perform at its best. Nutrition and hydration are vital, but there's another crucial element to marathon success, the mind. A marathon isn't just a physical challenge, it's a mental one too. Yes, the science of marathon running goes beyond the physiology of the human body. It delves into the realm of the human mind, into the very core of our psyche. Consider the mental resilience needed to run a marathon. It's the ability to keep going, to push through the pain, fatigue and exhaustion, to convince your body to keep moving when every fiber of your being is screaming for you to stop. This resilience is born of a mental toughness, a strength of will that can only come from deep within. 
Picture the focus required. Running a marathon is not about speed. It's about endurance. It's about focusing on the road ahead, on the next step, the next breath, the next heartbeat. It's about shutting out the distractions, the noise, the cheers and the jeers, and concentrating solely on the task at hand. It's about being in the moment, being present, being aware of your body and its limits. And let's not forget the motivation. Why do we run marathons? What drives us to push our bodies to such extremes? For some, it's the challenge, the thrill of competition, the desire to test our limits. For others, it's more personal. It may be a way to honor a loved one, to raise awareness for a cause, or simply to prove to ourselves that we can do it. Running a marathon is a journey, and like any journey, it's as much about the path as it is about the destination. It's about overcoming obstacles, facing our fears, and discovering our true potential. But what happens when we push ourselves too far? When we push our bodies and minds to their limits? What happens when the wall of fatigue hits and the finish line seems like a distant dream? That's when the real challenge begins. That's when we discover what we're truly made of. The mind indeed plays a crucial role. But what happens when the body and mind are pushed to their limits? There is a point in a marathon known as the wall where even the most seasoned runners feel like they can't go on. You might be wondering what exactly this wall is. It's a phenomenon where a runner suddenly feels an overwhelming sense of exhaustion, usually around the 20 mile mark. It's as if they've hit an invisible barrier, a wall, that they simply can't push through. So, why does this happen? The answer lies in our body's energy reserves. When we start running, our body primarily uses glycogen, a form of energy stored in our muscles and liver. However, these reserves are limited and can typically fuel about 20 miles of running. When these reserves run out, our body is forced to switch to fat as an energy source, which is less efficient. This switch manifests as a sudden drop in energy levels, often described as hitting the wall. When fatigue sets in and every fiber of your being is screaming at you to stop, it's your mind that has to pull you through. The psychological aspect of the wall is equally as daunting, if not more so than the physical one. It's a test of mental fortitude, resilience, and determination. Runners overcome this wall in several ways. Some slow their pace or take walking breaks. Others use mental strategies like breaking the remaining distance into smaller, manageable segments. For many, it's about digging deep, finding that internal motivation, and reminding themselves of why they're doing this in the first place. Nutrition also plays a crucial role. Consuming energy gels or drinks during the race can help maintain glycogen levels and delay the onset of the wall. Training too can help. Long runs in preparation for the marathon condition the body to better utilize fat as a fuel source, making the transition smoother. Overcoming the wall certainly requires a great deal of willpower, but is there a way to avoid hitting it altogether? Well, with the right preparation, mental strategies and nutrition, Runners can certainly give themselves the best shot at doing just that. Preparation is key in any endeavor, and marathon running is no exception. To prepare for the grueling 26.2 miles, you must build your endurance. This is achieved through incrementally increasing your running distance over several weeks or even months. Strength training is another crucial aspect. It's not just about the legs, mind you, your core, your arms, your back. They all play vital roles in maintaining good form and propelling you forward. It's a symphony of muscles working in harmony. And then, there's the art of rest. Contrary to popular belief, rest days aren't just about taking a break. They're about allowing your body to recover, to rebuild, to come back stronger. It's during these periods of rest that your body adapts to the stress of running, helping you avoid the wall and improve your performance. So there we have it, the science behind marathons an incredible journey of body and mind that takes us to the very limits of human endurance. We hope you enjoyed the journey exploring marathon science. Hit that like button and subscribe to Sci Sips to keep your marathon of learning from hitting a wall. Till next time, stay fit and keep on moving. Have you ever pondered the repercussions of going back in time and accidentally erasing your existence? Now that's a question to stir the gray matter, isn't it? Let's dive into the belly of the beast known as the grandfather paradox. Imagine this, 
you've built a time machine, you decide to test it out, you set the dial to, let's say, 70 years ago, you pop out in the past and there's your young, sprightly grandfather, oblivious to the fact that his future grandchild is standing right before him, but here's where things get tricky. You, for some unfathomable reason, decide to alter the timeline. You off your grandfather. Grim, I know, but stick with me. So your grandfather is gone long before your parents were even a twinkle in his eye. This means your parents were never born. Consequently, you were never born. But if you were never born, then who traveled back in time to eliminate dear old granddad? Thus, we find ourselves in the clutches of the grandfather paradox, a logical dilemma that has become a staple in the realm of time travel. This paradox is a compelling argument against the possibility of time travel. It's a logical loop that defies our understanding of causality and continuity. Quite a conundrum, isn't it? But hold on to your hats because we've only just scratched the surface. What if your actions in the past were not only unavoidable, but necessary for your present existence? Welcome to the predestination paradox, a mind-bending concept that will have you questioning the very nature of free will. Picture this. You invent a time machine and decide to travel back in time. You meet a stranger who inspires you to become an inventor. Years later, you realize that stranger was you. You've become the very inspiration that led you to your present existence. This is the essence of the predestination paradox, a loop with no clear beginning or end. Now you might be thinking, this sounds like something out of a science fiction novel. And well, you wouldn't be wrong. The world of pop culture has given us some fantastic examples of the predestination paradox. One that might tickle your fancy is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Remember when Harry conjures a Patronus to save himself and Sirius Black from the Dementors? Later he realizes that he was the one who conjured the Patronus in the first place. A classic predestination paradox. In the end, the predestination paradox presents a fascinating question. Are we truly masters of our fate or are we simply prisoners of our own actions trapped in a loop of our own making? It's a question that continues to baffle even the brightest minds. So we are prisoners of our own actions trapped in a loop of our own making. What happens when an object or information has no discernible origin? Enter the bootstrap paradox, a time-twisting quandary that traps objects or information in an infinite cause-effect loop. Imagine for a moment a book. This is no ordinary book, but a tome of knowledge sent back in time. The author in the future scribes it using an older version as a reference. So the question is, who wrote the book originally, the author or the book itself? A similar scenario occurs in popular culture, specifically in the British sci-fi series Doctor Who. Remember the episode Blink? A transcript of a conversation is sent back in time and the Doctor reads from it in the present. But the transcript only exists because it was read out in the first place. This is a classic example of the bootstrap paradox. So where does this leave us? Well, in a bit of a pickle, to be honest. The bootstrap paradox is a veritable chicken and egg scenario but with a temporal twist. It's a headache-inducing puzzle that leaves us questioning the very nature of causality and origin. Yet isn't it fascinating? It's like a never-ending waltz where the dancers are time and matter, locked in an eternal sequence of steps without a clear beginning or end. A timeless conundrum indeed. But as they say, time waits for no one. Can you imagine a universe where time isn't linear? Now that's a head-scratcher, isn't it? Welcome to the realm of closed time-like curves, a concept that would make even H.G. Wells' head spin. In the world of theoretical physics, we're often asked to suspend our belief in the ordinary. Closed time-like curves, or CTCs, are no exception. These are solutions to Einstein's field equations in his general theory of relativity that allow for time travel. Yes, you heard it right, time travel. Here's the gist. CTCs are paths through space-time that, if traversed, could take you back to the exact moment you started your journey. It's like going on a cosmic merry-go-round where every ride takes you back to square one, no matter how far you've gone. Now, if you're picturing Doctor Who's TARDIS or the DeLorean from Back to the Future, hold your horses. The existence of CTCs doesn't necessarily mean we can start packing for a trip to the Jurassic era or the distant future. CTCs are still purely theoretical and the universe might have safety measures to prevent such time-bending shenanigans. But isn't it fascinating to ponder the possibilities? Time travel has been a staple of science fiction for centuries and CTCs bring us one step closer to understanding how it might actually work. 
Who knew physics could take us on such a wild ride? Whether it's through a wormhole, a DeLorean, or a closed time-like curve, the journey through time is sure to be a thrilling adventure. What if every decision you made spawned an entirely new universe? Now that's a question to make your head spin, isn't it? This is the heart of the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, a theory that suggests all possible alternate histories and futures are not just figments of our imagination, but are as real as the universe we inhabit. Let's break it down. Imagine you're at a cafe deciding between a cappuccino and an espresso. According to the many worlds interpretation, the moment you make your choice, the universe splits in two. In one universe, you're relishing that cappuccino, and in another, you're sipping an espresso. This interpretation was first proposed by physicist Hugh Everett in the mid-20th century, and it's been stirring debates ever since. It's like a cosmic game of what if that never ends. It's a concept so vast, so mind-boggling, it's been a favorite among science fiction writers and filmmakers. Ever seen the movie Back to the Future? Well, imagine Marty McFly's actions creating not just one, but an infinite number of timelines. Or take the Avengers Endgame. Every snap of the Infinity Gauntlet, every choice made by our heroes could be spawning countless new universes. It's a lot to take in, isn't it? But we're just getting started. Could the laws of physics actually prevent time travel? It's a question that's been posed by many a curious mind. The chronology protection conjecture, a hypothesis proposed by none other than Stephen Hawking, tackles this very issue. Hawking, the renowned physicist and cosmologist, suggested that the laws of physics might actually forbid time travel to prevent any possible paradoxes. Imagine that. The universe, in its infinite wisdom, may have set up safeguards to stop us from mucking about with the delicate fabric of space-time. The chronology protection conjecture hinges on quantum physics and how it interacts with the concept of time travel. According to Hawking, any time machine would generate a massive amount of energy, enough to destroy itself before any actual time travel could occur. Now you might be thinking, well, that's a bit of a downer. But hold on to your TARDIS, because there's still hope. This is, after all, a conjecture, an educated guess, not a proven law. The physics community remains divided on this issue. Some agree with Hawking's view, while others believe there's still a chance we might find a loophole in the laws of physics. So, what's the bottom line here? Well, if the chronology protection conjecture holds true, we might have to toss our dreams of time-hopping adventures into the bin. But if it doesn't, who knows what incredible journeys await us in the future? Or should I say, in the past? Perhaps time is more resilient than we thought. Could the universe be self-correcting, preventing paradoxes from occurring? Now let's delve into the Novikov self-consistency principle, the fascinating hypothesis that puts forth the idea that the timeline is inherently self-consistent and makes paradoxes an impossibility. Imagine, if you will, a time traveler journeying back into the past with the intent to alter a significant event. According to the Novikov principle, no matter how hard they try, they simply can't succeed. Why, you ask? Well, the principle posits that any event that could cause a paradox has a zero probability of happening. It's a bit like trying to break the speed of light. Physics just says no. In effect, the Novikov principle suggests that the universe has a built-in paradox prevention system. If you've ever wondered why Marty McFly's meddling in Back to the Future didn't rip apart the fabric of space-time, this principle might just be your answer. So let's say you're a time traveler and you decide to pull a Terminator and take out your own grandfather. According to Novikov, you'd be thwarted by the cosmos itself. Perhaps you'd miss every shot, or maybe your gun would jam. In any case, the universe would conspire to maintain its own consistency. The Novikov self-consistency principle is a fascinating idea that could provide a solution to the time travel paradoxes that have puzzled scientists and sci-fi fans alike. It suggests that the universe, in all its vastness and complexity, has its own checks and balances. So, even if we could time travel, the universe has its own fail-safes. Intriguing, isn't it? How has popular culture tackled the brain-bending concept of time travel? Let's dive into the world of fiction, where time travel has been a captivating theme for decades. Consider the Back to the Future series. Here, the protagonist Marty McFly accidentally alters his parents' past, nearly erasing his own existence. 
This is a prime example of the grandfather paradox, where changing events in the past leads to impossibilities in the present. Then there's Star Trek, a franchise that has navigated the space-time continuum with finesse. Its many episodes have explored the predestination paradox, where characters are caught in time loops, their actions in the past ensuring the future they know. Doctor Who, the British sci-fi classic, often grapples with the bootstrap paradox. The Doctor himself explains it as an object or piece of information sent back in time becoming trapped within an infinite cause-effect loop in which the item no longer has a discernible point of origin. And let's not forget Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, where the use of a time-turner aligns with the Novikov self-consistency principle. The principle suggests that if an event could cause a paradox, the probability of that event is zero. So while these stories may seem far-fetched, they are grounded in real theoretical concepts, making them not only entertaining, but also intellectually stimulating. And we thought our reality was complicated. What does the future hold for the study of time travel? Peering into the crystal ball of scientific curiosity, the future of time travel research shimmers with possibility. Quantum mechanics, that enigmatic branch of physics, is at the forefront of this exploration. As we delve into the subatomic world, we stumble upon quantum entanglement, a phenomenon that might just be the key to unlocking the secrets of time travel. Imagine, if you will, a pair of entangled particles. Despite being separated by vast distances, a change in one particle instantly affects its twin. Could this instantaneous communication be a form of time travel at a quantum level? Only time and rigorous research will tell. Then there's the field of particle physics, where researchers are investigating tachyons, theoretical particles that move faster than light. If these elusive particles exist and can be harnessed, they could potentially enable us to send information back in time. And let's not forget the role of quantum computing, a technology that could simulate time travel scenarios with unprecedented accuracy. By running complex models and simulations, these supercomputers might provide us with a deeper understanding of temporal mechanics. As we step into the future, the study of time travel continues to push the boundaries of our understanding, bringing us one step closer to answering the question, can we truly master time? The future, it seems, is full of possibilities. Should we even tamper with time if given the chance? This is where we tread into the realm of ethics, a dimension as complex and convoluted as time itself. Time travel, in theory, is a Pandora's box of endless possibilities and potential misuses. Imagine, if you will, a future where time travel is as commonplace as catching a bus. Could we trust every Tom, Dick and Harry with the ability to alter the course of history? A single misplaced step in the past could potentially bring about the butterfly effect, leading to unforeseen and possibly catastrophic changes in the present. And then, there's the question of moral responsibility. If one could travel back in time and prevent a tragedy, would they be obliged to do so, or would doing so infringe upon the natural flow of time, causing more harm than good? Consider the Time Lord's dilemma in Doctor Who, where he must often choose between interfering and letting history take its course. Or the lessons from the Time Turner in Harry Potter, where even the most well-intentioned alterations can have unintended consequences. These ethical quandaries remind us that time travel isn't just about the mechanics or the paradoxes, it's about the profound responsibility that comes with wielding such power. Perhaps the most important question isn't how to time travel, but whether we should. Because, as Uncle Ben once told Peter Parker, with great power comes great responsibility. And in the case of time travel, the power and the responsibility could not be greater.